वेलकम टू आर पी इंस्टीट्यूट एंड रिसर्च सेंटर न्यू डेली सो दिस इज दीडियो ऑफ एम एच्योर हार्ट कैटरेक्ट विद टोटल कॉटिको न्यूक्लियर क्लासिफिकेशन सो वी कैन सी दैट द ग्लो इज वेरी फेम सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट कैप्सुलर एक्सेस इन दिस सिचुएशन वी हैव टू स्टेन द एंटीर कैप्सूल टू एनहांस द विजिबिलिटी सो आई हैव मेड ए फर्स्ट साइड पॉट इन सीजन एंड देन आई एम इंजेक्टिंग 0.06 percent of trypan blue dye into the anterior chamber over the anterior capsule once the anterior capsule is stained the remaining dye is being evacuated out of the anterior chamber by injecting dispersive obd once the anterior chamber is pressurized a triplanar limbal incision of 2.2 mm is created and then with the help of uh, rotator forceps the capsule or axis is initiated from the center of the capsule first we made a linear cut and then a flap by holding the edge of the flap with centripetal traction force we are trying to create a axis of 5.5 to 6 mm in size 5.5 to 6 mm in size is the ideal axis for any hard cataract phaco because then we get a enough uh place for the manipulation of the nucleus so once the rexis is complete the hydro procedure is in progress with the hydro dissection and hydro delineation to separate the nucleus from the the cortical material and then rotating the nucleus to certify that the nucleus is free within the capsular bag then with the help of the phaco probe the anterior cortex and the epineucleus is aspirated to visualize the anterior surface of the nucleus so here we can see that the nucleus is looking quite brown and uh, it seems to be very hard nucleus so to manage this nucleus i have planned to use an special device to crack this nucleus this device is called as a terminator the wedge tool it has a wedge in a wedge so it functions like a cracker not like a chopper So when this device is hooked around the nucleus it gives a transversal fracture force so which is a cracking force it cracks the nucleus into two pieces so here you can see in this video now when i'm impelling the nucleus with the phaco probe from the center towards the equator superficially and i'm trying to hold the nucleus just within the equator now i've drawn the nucleus a bit and then this device is hooked around the nucleus So when I'm drawing it you can see here the nucleus is already cracked and I have to just simply split it so you get a complete full thickness segmentation of the nucleus into two complete heminuclei so you have a two pieces of the nucleus i have brought the first heminuclei now in front of the phaco probe i'm again holding the nucleus just within the equator hooked it and cracked it so the first heminuclei is broken into two complete free segments Now this is the second heminuclei which has come in front of the phaco probe. I have held it and uh, just within the equator, hooked it and cracked it. You see now the cracking force of this device, which cracks the nucleus into two complete free segments. So you can see now these are the free segments. I am drawing the first free segments and emulsified. so it becomes so simple because if you have a free segments if these segments are free you don't have to do too much of manipulation too much of struggle is not required these free pieces they very easily come on the phaco probe i'm drawing the next piece with the phaco probe and emulsifying it and to emulsify these free segments we don't need too much of strenuous manipulation or too high phaco forces we can emulsify them simply with very low phaco energy and least manipulation now this is the next segment which is being drawn by the phaco probe and uh, this is also a free segment and then it's being emulsified now coming to the last piece the last piece seems to be a little large so i'm just trying to sub chop it and then emulsifying it So you can see here now these free segments are being emulsified very easily, and this is the last piece which is emulsified completely. So once the emulsification procedure is complete, 
we can see that there isn't much of cortical and the epinuclear material here in this particular case. But whatever cortical material is there, is being aspirated with the help of biomanual irrigation and aspiration cannula. And uh, this aspiration has to be completed. And then once it is complete, I'm injecting one piece iron into the capsular bag. The leading haptic has already gone into the capsular bag. And then I'm trying to dial the trailing haptic into the capsular bag. So we can see here in this particular case, the glow is very clear now. The cornea is absolutely clear. And uh, there isn't much of wound hydration. So after the visco material is aspirated, I am hydrating the own to seal the incisions and this is how the surgery is successfully complete. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you very much.